In today's wrap-up, Hayastan All Armenian Fund allocates $412,000 for Lebanese and Syrian Armenians. According to the Social Progress Index 2020, Armenia is a leader in its region. Azerbaijan has declared two Armenian servicemen wanted. The decision was sent to Interpol, the International Criminal Police Organization. Over 27 years old men who have not served in the Armenian army would be able to return. U.S. State Department report notes improvement in Armenia's business environment. New cases and three deaths due to COVID-19 as of September 11. Karabakh will have a free higher education. Is it good or bad? Hayastan All Armenian Fund and Tashir Charitable Foundation collected $412,000 for urgent assistance to Lebanese and Syrian Armenians. The Tashir Charitable Foundation, funded by the Russian Armenian business tycoon Samvel Karapetyan, joined the Solidarity Movement and transferred an additional $100,000. The $312,000 will be proportionally distributed to the educational institutions of the Armenian community in Lebanon in order to pay teachers' salaries for the 2020-2021 school year. The other $100,000 will allow the implementation of educational programs. $13,000 will be provided to the media outlets operating in Lebanon, Ararat, Zartong, Azdak, Vanadzain, and Radio Sevan. Recently, Haika Karshamyan, executive director of the Hayastan All Armenian Fund, handed over about $70,000 to the Armenian embassy in Damascus, which will distribute the sum to the Armenians of Syria to alleviate their difficult health and socio-economic situation caused by the COVID-19. Armenia has improved its ranking in the Social Progress Index 2020, a comparative report that measures social progress in 163 countries. The Social Progress Index is the most complete measure of a country's social and environmental performance, which does not replace but complements traditional measures of success, such as GDP. The indicator reflects the results of all 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. Armenia ranked 50th compared to the 54th place in 2019 and 61st in 2018 ahead of all its neighbors, as well as Russia and other former Soviet republics except the Baltic states and Belarus. Georgia is in 56th place, Turkey 19th second place, Iran 93rd place, Azerbaijan 104th place, Russia 69th place. The Azerbaijani authorities have launched proceedings to declare two Armenian military officers internationally wanted. Azerbaijani media report, citing the press service of the country's prosecutor general's office, that this decision is based on information received from captured Armenian officer Gurgen Alaverdian. The declaration concerns Alaverdian's fellow servicemen Vazgen Vartanyan and Arven Jamalian. According to the media, the country's investigation department of Azerbaijan has sent a petition to the National Central Bureau of Interpol to implement this decision. Criminal cases against the two servicemen have been filed under aggressive war, illegal firearm, its components, ammunition, espionage, attack on enterprises, departments, organizations or individuals, formation of armed groups, illegal crossing of the state border, and attempted terrorism. The Armenian officer Gurgen Alaverdian was found by Azerbaijani servicemen in Azerbaijani territory and was captured on August 22. According to the Armenia's Minister of Defense, Alaverdian went astray due to bad weather conditions and appeared on the Azerbaijani side. In Azerbaijan, Alaverdian was charged with murder, harming the health of others, causing great material damage and the illegal trafficking of weapons. The Armenian Foreign Ministry issued a statement strongly condemning the degrading treatment of Alaverdian, seeing it as a clear violation of international humanitarian law. Armenian citizens who have not undergone their compulsory military service and fled the country are under criminal prosecution, according to Armenia's law. However, a new draft law envisages that citizens who have reached the age of 27 can be released from criminal prosecution if they pay a fine, stated Mahitar Hayrapetyan, a member of the Maistep faction of the National Assembly. Overall, the competitive environment in Armenia is improving, reads the 2020 Investment Climate Statements report led by the U.S. Department of State. But the report also highlights some weaknesses and states that 
Despite progress in the fight against corruption and improvements in some areas that raise Armenia's attractiveness as an investment destination, investors claim that numerous concerns remain and must be addressed to ensure a transparent, fair and predictable business climate. An investment dispute in the country's mining sector has attracted significant international attention and remains outstanding after several years, reads the report. According to the report, broader reforms across judicial, tax, customs, health, education, military and law enforcement institutions will be necessary to shore up these gains. As of September 11, 177 new cases of coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia. 201 people recovered, three people died. Over the three reported deaths, the patients were reported to be 57 and 63 years old females and 59 year old male. They all had chronic diseases. 5% of the tests were positive. The total number of confirmed cases is 45,503, of which 41,434 have recovered. In Civil Net Special, Karabakh will have a free higher education. Is it good or bad? On May 23, President of Artsakh, Araik Harutsunyan, announced that from September 1, higher education will become free. $440,000 will be spent from the state budget for that purpose. CivilNet prepared a video report where Minister of Education of Artsakh explains the rationale behind such decisions, while politician Haik Khanumyan from the opposition National Revival Party slams the government decision for both not contributing to the quality of education and causing corruption risks. <laughs>